All right, guys, we are back, and this is the, the final Mitchell squad, short squad. I don't even know what to call this squad, the mini me squad, but this is my final squad for the, I guess, the shortest players in the game squad. At QB, picked up Johnny Manziel and Johnny Football. I was going to do Russell Wilson. He's 5'10", but we just did the all-time Seahawks squad, so I went with Money Manziel. On defense, a lot of you guys recommended Brandon Flowers and Buster Scrum. They're both 5'9", probably the shortest corners in the game for sure, so they're going to be starting. At linebacker, picked up Dumerville and Michael Kendricks. I was going to get Stephen Tulloch, but this captain card is so bad, so we're just going to stick with Bobby Wagner. And yeah, that's the defense. Quick look at the offense again. Let's hop into it. All right, guys, let's do this. I got Branch and Trinidad Holiday taking kicks back. Trinidad Holiday 5-5. Five, five. Had to get him on the squad. Oh, I thought Branch was staying up. Now, I know when people think about our short team, a lot of people think defense. How are you going to play defense? I'm worried about offense. How the hell will we play offense with this short team? Not going to lie, man. I'm a little nervous. This short team, this is different. This is new. I'm used to playing with the monsters, man, like the biggest receivers, biggest tight ends in the game. Right now, that's not the case. I got Jones Drew, though. I can lean on him a little bit. To be honest, I like my halfback shorter. To be honest, I like my halfback shorter. That's why I think that Sproles is so good, along with the beastie stats he has. But I like my halfbacks a little shorter, man. They get better, I don't know, just better animation when it comes to running and agility. Now, since my receivers are so short, when it comes to passing, I'm, I'm just looking for a lot of quick slants, a lot of routes to free up across the middle. Oh, my gosh. I got all day. Going to throw it to Sproles wide open. Oh, and he drops it. That right there is what I'm worried about. Since these guys are smaller, in real life, a lot of them don't have the biggest hands. They aren't the biggest guys, so they're catching traffic isn't too great. So a lot of times, oh, oh, that was a bad ball. A lot of times, a lot of times they're catching traffic isn't too great. I don't know why I didn't streak my freaking receiver. Streaking Smith this play, trying to do some passing out of our form. I'm going to send I'm gonna send Delaney Walker on a, on a quick out route. Then DM Branch coming across the middle. Let's get it. Let's see what we got. I think Branch is open. Branch is open. Branch making a move. Branch getting into the enemy territory. All right, in the red zone. Usually, I'm going for fade routes. I think these guys are too small for fade routes. So, going for some play action shenanigans. And I'm looking for Wes Welker on that post route. We might not have enough room to run this play, but we'll try it. I'm also fade Steve Smith. Try to fade him. Super thank oh, Steve's open. Steve's open. Get it to Steve. Steve Smith back in the end zone, baby. Gotta love those feet. Nice throw by Manziel. Nice catch by Steve-O. All right, up 7-0. Now, let's see what this defense is all about and see who he's working with. That's a Calvin Johnson and a Jeremy Macklin. Oh, my gosh. 5-9 cornerback on Calvin is a bad idea, but we got some pressure. Hopefully, he doesn't notice that I got a team of midgets out there in my secondary because Cal Calvin's a problem, and I'm really glad I put Flowers at the number two because Flowers would be 5-9, 90 speed going up against Calvin. That would be terrible. Oh, I just missed the pick right there. They didn't give me an animation. I don't know why. I think this might be a bad decision, but we're going to blitz. We're going to set a little bit of pressure, man. I'm watching this tight end get down to solid. Oh, we got some pressure. The Honey Badger scooping it up. Honey Badger stand on his feet to the end zone. Top red Matthew, baby. That's what he did at LSU. That was a good flashback to LSU. The Honey Badger making plays. He's been pretty freaking good with the Cardinals, too. Shout out to Tyron Matthew, man. He's been beasting it up. Okay, up 14 to 0 now. Let's build upon this lead, man. Let's be great. Oh, nice pressure. Nice sack. The guy that got that sack, Ruben, I think has like 70 or 65 speed. Very freaking slow, but he's making plays. Uh-oh. All day in the pocket. He's testing the Honey Badger. Honey Badger, great coverage, baby. Way to get a hand on it. Gotta be honest, guys. This game, I'm, I'm not going for too many picks. Picks are a no-no with this team. Oh, my gosh. We got beat deep. No, we didn't. Oh, Thomas. Getting back into play. Guys, I think the worst has happened. He's realized my secondary is slow and they're a little small. I think he might bum it deep the rest of this game. Give me a break. Second and ten. We, we need some pressure. I need my D-line to get off. Uh-oh. Sideline routes. Oh, but he's going deep again like a savage. Earl Thomas. Oh, I just missed it. I could get the slot animation. And Calvin Johnson's in the end zone. Okay. All right, guys. Here we go in the second half. And we're not doing this. We're not about to have a Hail Mary competition on offense. So in the second half, I'm going to try to come in here and get a stop. All right, boys, should we go in the second half? Only up by seven. Couldn't get the job done to close out the second quarter. Oh, going for that pick. Oh, wow, we sack him. I'd be willing to bet a lot that he was going to these sideline routes. There's another one trying to free up. Oh, he's going deep again like a savage. Can we get the pick? Oh, Thomas. Oh, oh Thomas had that one. I almost forgot, but since these guys' receivers are so freaking big, we are going to we are going to pretty much give up the under routes. Oh, big hit. What the hell was that? Bobby Wagner with the clothesline. Oh, my God. I was saying that since his receivers are so freaking big, we're going to play a lot of two-man under. But, yo, nice freaking, nice freaking play by Bobby Wagner. Oh, nice sack right there, too. Now, no joke, this drive out, I am playing it safe. I'm just going to run, 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 run until we get in the red zone, man. Here we go. Oh, nice box up the middle. Jones, Drew stand on his feet. There we go. Picking up, what was that, 15 on that carry? Beautiful run. New set of downs. Everybody gets set. I don't want to do a play action, but I'm going to stick to the game plan. 
I'm gonna keep this crap on the ground. Here we go. Jones Drew. Oh, getting stopped right there. All right, Berg, don't blow this. Start an eight. All you gotta do is throw the ball away, and it's an easy three. Let's just not blow this. I got Deion Branch on another C route. I'm gonna flare out Jones Drew. Oh, they won't let me. Never mind. I'm gonna wheel route Jones Drew then, and let's go. Oh, he's open. He's open. He's wide open. Deion Branch, this dude's a beast on those C routes. I could pretty much do that all game, man. Deion Branch, a man coverage on a C route is money every time. I'm not playing man. Here we go. Just, just made the quick audible to this cover two man. We must have safety up against this guy's receivers. Oh, Earl Thomas. I'm so bad with the hit sticks. Or maybe it's just Madden, man. I don't know. I feel like at times this year the, the pursuit angles are so weird. And that's why a lot of times you see a lot of people going for X tackles and not even thinking about doing a hit stick. And same. Oh my gosh, look at this. Fourth down. He's going for a fake. Don't let him get his scrum. Oh my gosh. I'm so. Oh, another hit stick. Holy shit. Computer's balling out. Computer is balling out. I had two failed hit sticks. I whiffed on two, two bone crushing hit CPU. Having my back. And now I'm going deep to Steve Smith. Let's do this. Drop it. Oh, no, I'm not. Tobert's open. Let me feed the bowling ball, baby. Mike Tobert wide open. Let's, let's not do anything too crazy. Play action. Scissors right here. This is that post route, right? I think Steve Smith might be able to get this post route. We will see. Mr. Postman. Steve Smith. Oh, he's open. He's open. Steve Smith in the back of the end zone. Yo, this team is beasting. I don't know if it's because they're all quick and small, but the entire year, I haven't really thrown too many C routes. You, you guys never see me throw those. And then post routes, I don't really throw too many of those either because you don't get any separation. But that time, Steve Smith got separation. And this guy has a good team. We see he's messing with Calvin. Just in a honey badger, not today! Oh my gosh, honey badger. I'm saying all that to say though, I think these small receivers might just be better at routes by a whole lot this year, man. Because even like the Ultimate Legend Calvin, I'm never throwing those C routes, baby. They never work. And then post routes too, I'm never throwing that stuff to my super juiced ass team. But the, these speedy small ass receivers, they are getting separation. A lot of it too. Here we go. Who you throwing it to? Oh, I was right there. Third and two. If we can get this defensive stand, that would be clutch. I'm going to get on the Honey Badger. It's got to be another pass. It is another pass. Who's he passing it to, though? Oh, he's open, too. He got that late release, and he's diving for the end zone. Okay, he's answering back. That's a big TD. Here we go in the fourth quarter. My apologies for the defensive blunder, man. That was actually my zone, but I got distracted by those quick slants and left the flats wide open, so that was on me. Another great run by Jones Drew. Get another first. Jones Drew started out on fire this game, but this guy has slowly but surely adjusted to the run. Only getting like four or three a carry now, which is all we need. Only need one right here. Jones Drew, he's getting that. Now to cut down on mistakes, I had to throw on the true clock, and oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at this pressure. Where are my blockers at? Give me a break. That wasn't even an all-out blitz, and this guy was all in the backfield. Second and 18. Can we get it off? Can I have protection in the pocket? Here we go. I got, I got a little bit of time. No, I don't. And my tackle's getting his ass whipped. This is exactly why I threw on True Clock. He's getting some late game momentum. His D-line's getting off. His defense is stepping up. But True Clock, he shouldn't have enough time to get back in this game. Uh-oh, here we go. I threw the lob. Cole Beasley. Oh, Cole Beasley laying out for the catch. Wow, what a snag. I've been playing Madden all year, and that's like the first diving catch I've seen in this game. Great freaking snag by Cole Beasley. Wow. That catch should just about do it, too. We only need a first down now. Jones Drew's getting those with these. Jones Drew's getting those with these, baby. Move those chains. And guys, I think that very well may be game time quickly. I got to go deep to Smitty one time. I got to go deep to Smitty. Throwing it up. Smitty's by himself. Steve Smith Sr. to the end zone, baby. GG, baby. That's how we do it. This was a hell of a game, man. Fun matchup, too. That's how we do it with the Mitchell squad, the Mini Me squad, the Short squad, whatever you're going to call it, man. 35-21 win. Big time game. Let's check these highlights. Check these stats. Quickly, here's some defense highlights, man. Defense was killing it. Oh, big hit from Earl Thomas. Honey Badger scooping that bad boy up, taking it to the end zone. That was a big play. This was another big play. Pay attention to Bobby Wacker. You probably don't even see him. Dude comes out of nowhere. Oh, close by from hell. Getting the big fumble. And then lastly, one more defensive highlight. This was just terrible. I missed two hit sticks. Oh, there's one miss. Oh, there's another miss. <laughs> then somebody came out of nowhere. I think the Honey Badger returning the favor. The first play, Earl Thomas forced the fumble, and the Honey Badger got it. This play, the Honey Badger forced on the fumble, and Earl Thomas got it. Those dudes were nice, man. They beasted this game. Three half the guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you want to see some more of this team in action, be sure to smash that like button, and I can do some more gameplays with it, or we can create a new, fresh squad. And quickly, man, this primetime MJD is nice. DM Branch is nice. Steve Swift was cool, too, but I think I think the best standout players that I played with was MJD and DM Branch. But there you have it. Hope you
you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Peace. I know who that is. LeBron James, 23 on 23. Nice D. Kick it out. Oh, started them out of the way, baby. Jordan, nice steal. Jordan, get fancy. Jordan, get fancy. Jordan with the 360, baby. Let's go. 